Hi, it's Kate at bunniesgarden.com. I hope you're doing great. I am going to show you today my very favorite method of starting seeds. And it's a lot cleaner than using potting soil. It's a lot quicker in my experience. And you can do it in just a few seconds, a um, couple minutes with your kids. It's a lot of fun. And you end up with something like this. Set it out of sight, out of mind for a couple days, and then you get to see firsthand the germination, the little roots peeking out, or the new green leaves growing. So let's get started. Just wanted to share my favorite seed starting method with you today. We are going to start some different tomato seeds in wet paper towels inside little zip-up baggies. So your materials that you should gather, some little zip seal baggies, paper towels, a little spray bottle of water, whatever seeds you'd like to start, and um, a permanent marker like a Sharpie. Okay, so first things first, tear yourself a paper towel, and we have the half sheet style, so I just fold those in half. If you have a regular one, you can tear it or cut it, or just fold it an extra time. So I just fold it in half, it's now about the size of a napkin and just go ahead and spray plain, regular water on your paper towel. You just want it to get kind of fully damp and we'll wet it again before we put them in the bags. But um, just that's a good start right there. It's heavier, you can notice the water is staying there. Um, so we're going to grow some Roma tomatoes this year. We love turning our aromas into sauce, or I um, also like making a bruschetta chicken dinner um, with fresh tomatoes and basil from the garden. So these are one of my favorite types of tomato to grow. And I'm just going to, I think I have about 10 or so seeds here. So we're just going to space them out. We're actually going to be folding the paper towel in half again. So I'm just going to use the bottom half of this so we can make sure they're not touching. And you just want to space the seeds out. I'm kind of going in a little zigzag here so that when they sprout they won't get too tangled. Um, it's okay if they do, you can unwind the roots, but it's just easier if you try to spread them out ahead of time. And it may not be perfect, you can always move them later, but this should be a good start. So once you have the seeds spread out, you can see they're not touching, they're all nicely spaced on the paper towel, hope you guys can see. So I'm just going to wet them again, I'm going to actually spray the seeds this time. And don't overdo it, but a little bit of water should give them a good start to soak that outer seed coat and hopefully they'll germinate pretty soon. In my experience, peas and snow peas sometimes start germinating overnight. Tomatoes, eggplants, and other some other seeds have taken much longer in my experience, but I do feel like this seed starting method is a lot faster, cleaner, and easier than starting with um, soil in egg cartons like I grew up doing. I still love doing that. I still do that. But with certain seeds, I just like to get a jump start um, with the paper towel method. So here's, you can just peek inside, nice, um, nice fold, nice spacing. So we're going to take one of these Ziploc bags now, open that up, and gently put, place your seeds inside. I do leave the top that opens um, facing up, so if you want to check at any point, it's a lot easier. Just take a sneak peek at your seeds and see how everything's doing. So I'll just fit that in there, nice and easy. Now you can add air, you can try to inflate this if you want, you can blow into it like a balloon or just leave it be. I try to get a little pocket of air, but I do usually plant quite a few different varieties, so um, for space saving purposes, sometimes I just stack them in a little basket on top of my microwave so I don't put too much air. But now that we have that, um, I would recommend writing the name of the type of tomato or whatever seed you planted. So we have Roma, and I'm going to put today's date, which is, I believe, um, April 
you do that some people like to put theirs in a sunny window some like to put them on top of the fridge I've put them next to heating vents on the floor um, on the tile next to the heating vent not on top of it I also like to set them on top of my microwave where they're out of the way I don't have to worry about anybody stepping on my seeds or the dog taking a nap on them um, so I have a little basket on top of my microwave. That's where I put a lot of mine. So that's all there is to it. You can do this with other types of seeds. We're also going to try zucchini and eggplant and of course peas and some others. Uh, definitely like to try these pineapple tomato and um, oh, a vintage wine tomato as well that I hope to try. So that's all for today. I hope you have a wonderful growing season. I hope you try this method. If you do, definitely shout at me in the comments. Let me know what you think, um, how it works for you. If you have any questions or other tips to share, we always love hearing from you. Please um, like, subscribe, and make sure you sign up for notifications so you'll get um, notified next time we put out a video. Thanks so much. Happy gardening.